I worry about a church that has forgotten what the Bible teaches. We, we evangelicals are crazy. We work overtime proving that the Bible is inerrant. And after we do, then we refuse to accept what it says. It not only says that we must have a new attitude toward, towards, towards wealth, it means we have to be radical in all kinds of ways. And when I became a Christian, the Korean War was in progress. And uh, it was an incredible experience because I didn't know whether to, 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 to accept the draft or what to do. And I had a conversation with a colonel. And we argued back and forth. And he said to me, what's your problem? I said, my problem is I want to do what Jesus would do. He said, could you get in a plane, fly over an enemy village and drop bombs? I said, I could get in a plane, I could fly over the enemy village, but when I put my hand on the throttle and I was about to release the bombs, at that moment, I would have to say, Jesus, if you were in my place, would you drop the bombs? And I remember the colonel yelling back at me, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Everybody knows Jesus wouldn't drop bombs. <laughs> and that... That colonel probably knew more about Jesus than most Baptist preachers that I know. You say, this is getting upsetting. What you are talking about now has become politically dangerous. When has Christianity ceased being politically dangerous?